it's a good thing because that makes Pittsburgh important and for whoever wins Pennsylvania will will be uh, will be a decider I personally think and whoever wins Pittsburgh basically actually gets Pennsylvania. We're excited uh, to be able to have such an important role in our democracy and in, in what is, as everyone has been saying, uh, quite possibly the most important election in our lifetimes. Deputy Mayor Jake Pollack says they're working with state and local agencies and the Secret Service to ensure the safety of the candidates and the attendees. We were able to get President Trump in and out of a Steelers football game uh, safely and with minimal disruption a few weeks ago. Vice President Harris has been here numerous times, so we're confident that we have all the resources we need and, and the experience we need to keep everybody safe. Monday, former President Trump will be at PPG Paints Arena while Harris will be at Point State Park. Former Pennsylvania State Police Major Frank Monaco says security at the Harris rally especially will need to be tight. You have clear shots across uh, from the across the river and not to mention from Mount Washington of what could be happen up there on, the, on those hill sides there. So that's going to be a huge problem for them. I'm sure everything's going to be cleared on Mount Washington and uh, obviously on the over by the stadiums and the casino. Monaco says another major impact will be traffic. They're going to have rolling blockades. They're not going to have any traffic come in from the sides, from the ramps. Imagine they're coming from the parkway. They have given a half a day school off. So as soon as the girls are back home, we are going to drive right away. The city is telling anyone who is not attending a rally on Monday to steer clear of downtown and many offices downtown are also closing early to accommodate. Reporting live tonight in Mount Washington, Felicity Taylor, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.